When the body of the 23-year-old man was discovered along the banks of the Chattahoochee Monday afternoon, he remained unidentified until around midnight. That's when Fulton County police said they learned it was Michael McIntosh through fingerprints. But this man has a different story. He is Tom Terrell, already questioned by investigators because of his relationship with Larry Marshall and victim number 23, Timothy Hill. Terrell told me today that on Monday afternoon, at about the same time McIntosh's body was found, an investigator who he thinks was with the FBI showed him a picture of someone called Michael. This morning, Terrell saw McIntosh's picture in the newspaper and said it was the same man the agent showed him on Monday, eight hours before the body was identified. So was McIntosh already known to investigators before he was identified that night, even though he had not been reported missing? And if so, why were they looking for him? As usual, the FBI would not comment on any aspect of their investigation. But at a news conference today, Public Safety Commissioner Lee Brown said he doesn't know of any previous investigation of McIntosh. We had no information that he was missing, therefore we were not looking for him. He came to our attention at the time we found his body. However, Brown did confirm one report that another composite picture has been used in this neighborhood where Michael McIntosh lived, a composite of a man who may have seen Eddie Bubba Duncan alive for the last time. The composite was known to exist. It surfaced again yesterday here when several people said they were shown the sketch. They say it was not the other composite that has been released to the public. This one described a black man, they say, full-faced with a high forehead and bushy afro. Brown told reporters that at this time, the composite will not be shown to the public, even though it's already been shown along Windsor Street. He says there are reasons for that decision, reasons he cannot explain now. Ernie Bjorkman, Action News.